Hey everyone, welcome back. Here I'll be taking this thing apart, removing the hard drive. It's 500 gigs. Then I'm going to be removing the DVD drive. We are going to set that to the side because we're going to use that. Set this aside. Alright, so we're going to try to transform this to hold our SSD and that's a 256 gig and that's a small bracket that I got off of Amazon I think both was around like 30 bucks so the idea here is to place that on the inside that way it's right there so there's four screws and I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver Yeah, that one was a little bit of a pain, but I managed to get it out. Now, I did have to pry on this a little bit to get it loose. I did try to attempt this with the screwdriver, but I was scared I was going to break it. So I grabbed a small little pick tool. It's very sharp on the point. Be careful using that. You could stab yourself very easily. Or poke yourself. Here I'll just I'll just get fed up with it and just pull it apart. I'm not going to be using the internals anyway, except for the tray. So I managed to get the tray out. And it does release right there where I just scan my finger across. <laughs> now here you kind of have the idea. I place it all out for you. And we're going to try to mount this on the inside. Make sure it's facing back to where uh, it did plug in originally like the DVD drive did in the first place. Right here I'm just trying to get it centered. There is that little space right there so I'm trying to get it in between the screws. That way at least two will hold it tight. So I'm using that same pick tool. Just poking it a little bit to make a mark and indention. As you can see it done that. Now I'm going to use a drill bit that matches pretty much the screw that's going to screw and hold in the bracket. So it'll slide through the case very fairly easily. So I'm using a piece of wood so I don't ruin my table. And afterwards it may have like burrs on it. You may have to clean that up with a file. So here we're just going to screw it together. I did manage to find another screw, but I didn't and I didn't have it right there on me at the time. Alright, so now you want to face everything that way. Like the DVD drive was before. And put your screws in the side. You kind of get the idea. After we put these four screws in here, we're going to disassemble the, the slide tray and figure out a way to where we can mount it on the front. Alright, so I got it apart. I cleaned it up fairly well. And all we're going to do is now we're going to use some adhesive and glue that on. And then we're going to snap it back on. Make sure it's a really tight fit.
make sure you do push in the sides a little bit because the front of it is grooved all the way around to where it kind of slides in the middle all right so now i'm adding two eight gig sticks of PY. i bought those at uh, best buy for like 38 bucks a piece now let's reassemble Let's remove the old RAM sticks, which it was 8 gigs total, 4 sticks. Now these lanes right here, there's arrows. If you're only putting 2 sticks, make sure you put it in the lanes that has the arrows. Now when you place these in, there's grooves, and each uh, DDR stick has different types, like th 2, 3, 4, etc. And there's grooves, so make sure you match those up, and make sure it's a solid click. And make sure those tabs go up when you do click it in. Alright, now to the next step. The nice little storage ssd storage we made make sure you put that bracket on there it'll slide all the way down and it won't lock in now let's plug it up it was kind of fun making this i didn't want to just double-sided tape it to something it's just tacky and also i used the same hard drive the 500 gigabyte which that does have my windows installed and everything. I can clone and then possibly put two SSDs in here. So doing that, now I have the front of my case and no look has changed.